Hey friends, Greg here with the Pennywise guys. I have another solar washing system I'm installing on this home. This has a steep roof and it has two solar arrays and I'm going to install one single washing manifold. I'm going to go ahead and give you less details. You can go ahead and watch other previous videos to show you how to do the mounting brackets that have no roof penetrations and how to do the, the PVC work. This one I'm going to focus on the design and why I chose to do it this way. Let's get started. Let me uh, talk about what I did to build this thing. The steep roof, I decided the best thing to do is build the manifold on the ground. You see me do that before, it's so much easier and then bring it up carefully uh, to, do the, to do the install. If you guys uh, don't have experience on the roof, I'd advise you to seek out somebody that is a roofer or a solar contractor, solar installer, anybody that has experience on a high pitch roof. Uh, don't take the chance if you have no experience, it is dangerous. Okay, so I advise you to get that help, but if you went ahead and did all the shopping for the parts and built the manifold on the ground, after you got measurements, someone can get up on the roof and take measurements for you. Build the manifold. I did this, this in three pieces. This large array here was built in one piece. And then I did that connection up here. Now I'll swing on around without slipping off here. I did that connection right there with that piece connected to this third manifold that I built. And brought the three pieces up and then glued that in up here. Uh, on the end I've got a van eight. The distance of this array is 10 and a half feet on the, the height. Across is a little about six and a half feet. So I went with the van eight. There's a little bit of overlap on each side on the roof, but there's no avoidance to, for that. And that reaches down fine. This one here is a van eight set at 40, uh, set at 90 degrees. In the middle, I have a van uh, 10 and I have it as a wedge shape pattern to reach the last two feet on either corner and all the way down. So with the van 8 and that van 10 in the middle adjusted where we got 90 degree adjustment, a adjustment with a wedge shape to shoot it down there to get that washed at the bottom and then this one it's set at 90 and it works out really well. I'm not going to move because it's slippery up here with now that I've, I've went ahead and set the sprinklers and it's wet I'm, be, I'm being very cautious this one here I've got a van 12 all the way down the three heads there are van 12s and they've got a good overlap and a good washing pattern not too much on the roof uh, the distance on this array is about 20 feet long and a 10 and a half feet wide so I have 10 foot spacing between the three washing heads and so I've got a good overlap for the corners and everything is covered very well. I went ahead and even uh, painted this uh, PVC on the ground with the spray paint, the plastic spray paint. I'll go ahead and put a link at the bottom. It's a uh, spray paint that's uh, suitable for plastic. If you don't paint the PVC it's going to deteriorate in the sun and you're going to have problems. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get down. We're going to put the uh, soap in the system and show you how it works. I did the hose connection there. I went ahead and uh, teed off and elbowed it down, angled it to the, to the uh, roof, and uh, that worked out really well with the hose bib on there. And then I used the, uh, the hose that I have a recommendation for. It's at the linked at the bottom. I rolled up the extra underneath the panels, and that turned out really nice, and then routed it down to... The corner of the house there, I strapped it to the panels, uh, the rail, railings, and then down to the corner. This is the uh, faucet we did here. Went ahead and uh, teed off the original customer's original um, uh, faucet head. Elbowed it down, put a T in. Here's the original faucet for the customer, and then I used a half-inch ball valve, which is a must to get the volume of water that we need. And of course, they, they, the injector comes with a short two-foot hose. There's the Chapin um, injector system. Link at the bottom, mounted to the wall. I already have it half full of the heavy-duty, premium, multi-purpose pressure washer concentrate. You can get it at, um, at Walmart. And it's like $11 or $12 for a gallon. And the carpet shampoo is the best. This is the second best. 
the carpet shampoo is 40 50 percent more expensive so we're gonna go ahead and use this and see how it works we already filled it up we just took off the fitting here filled it up with the concentrate put the fitting back on if you had washed before go ahead and drain the water out of the system before you fill it up with the concentrate make sure it's empty and just open that valve at the bottom fill it put the plug back in and we are gonna go ahead and start the system and see how it works the uh, system's on working great and uh, it's what it what it's doing is the concentrated soap is being picked up by the water and now it's a soap cycle as soon as that is depleted then you have clear water and you have a rinse cycle it's that easy all right you can see the soap coming down the panels and get hundred percent coverage doing very well let me get a view of this one over here you can see across the edge there it is dripping off with the soapy water and yeah, really good coverage all right again if you do not have experience on a steep roof I would say roof installation anywhere from four to six hours at $75 an hour for a contractor you could uh, spend a few hundred bucks, two or three hundred dollars to get someone to help you. I'd advise you to do it. I've had a lot of years experience doing roof solar. Even I, at this age, am kind of leery about walking on this roof. So, it's working really good. I pray that you are blessed and that you know him who is the author of life.